What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas. Smartphones are becoming quite amazing these days. I've even heard them compared to DSLR replacements, but in my opinion, they're not quite there yet because all smartphones have one thing in common. They're all fixed lenses, which means you cannot swap out the lens on your phone. Now, this is where this video shows its value. Here are two really awesome lens attachment options that you can use with almost any smartphone, all for under $30. Here is the Impow 2-in-1 M lens, V2 and the Polaroid 3-in-1 clip-on camera lens. The MPOW retails for about $27 and the Polaroid goes for about $14 at the time of this video. So the MPOW is about twice the price uh, with less shooting format options because the MPOW does not have wide angle included. But the MPOW is built really well and is reminiscent of a solidly built lens that you would put on your DSLR as it comes with a lens cap that functions as you would expect a traditional lens to work. The MPOW is one unit and is built with a screwable design where the fisheye is possible through the complete lens assembly. And to get macro shots, you just unscrew the front of that assembly and get to shooting. With the MPOW, you get a carrying bag and a mounting clip, and that's pretty much all that you get within the packaging. The Polaroid has one thing over the MPOW, and that is that it has a wide angle attachment that you can capture wide angle shots, so your field of view becomes wider. And it also includes the fisheye and the macro lens attachment, which you will get with the MPOW version. However, you can purchase the MPOW version 3, which is a wide angle variation to the version 2 setup shown in this video. The 3-in-1 by Polaroid has two phone mounting clips included in the packaging, a carrying bag, a microfiber cleaning cloth, which I found extremely useful in my testing as you'll be handling these lens attachments quite often and carrying them around where they tend to collect every piece of dust and fingerprint out there, making the microfiber cleaning cloth worth its weight in gold because nobody wants to bring on their lenses when they're taking pictures. Both of these lens setups work with just about any smartphone camera out there, but I found the Polaroid worked better on the iPhone 6 than it did on the LG G4, and the MPOW worked better on the LG G4 than it did the iPhone. The MPOW had some light leaks on the lens attachment if it wasn't situated just right on the iPhone. You need to make sure you seat the attachment in a certain way, uh, nearly pushing it to the edge on the iPhone's camera. And when you do this, it sometimes causes vignetting issues in the macro mode. None of these issues were apparent on the iPhone with the Polaroid system as the glass sits perfectly around the camera bump on the iPhone. Now the Polaroid must be seated perfectly on the lens of any non-iPhone camera, as on the LG G4 it has to be centered perfectly to avoid potential significant vignetting issues with the wide angle and macro lens attachments. The Polaroid has no issues of light leaking on either of the phones that I had in testing as the seal went around the lens with no problem. Both of these systems are very travel friendly and easily carried around and they can be used in a real environment. Although I will say the MBAO had less pieces to keep track of and that's a plus in my opinion because you're not losing anything. They both produce similar results and worked great. Let's take a look at some sample images here in this video. Um, if you want to take a closer look at any of the pictures shown here, I will be linking you to a blog post that I did on my website. So head on over there to take a look at the full resolution of these images as to get a pretty accurate representation of what you can expect if you purchase either one of these. I took one picture on the LG G4 and one on the iPhone 6 to show the differences between the two lens systems on the different shaped cameras. One thing to note as we're looking at at sample images, neither of these systems will allow for very great picture results if you have any type of case on your phone, which is unfortunate because you're going to be handling your phone in a way that wouldn't be normal. So the potential for you to drop and damage your phone without having a case on it increases. So just keep in mind that neither of these systems work really well with a case on your phone. You can still take pictures with the system mounted on your phone with a case, but the quality of your images will definitely suffer. I would recommend either of these systems to anyone looking to do more with the pictures on their smartphone. However, if you're going with MPOW, I would recommend the MPOW version 3 wide angle system over the fisheye as it gives you more options 
uh, and shooting and just, you know, freeing up your ability to shoot cool pictures. And along those lines, I would recommend the Impal system to any Android user and the Polaroid to the iOS shooter. If you're interested in pricing and availability of any of these systems that I've talked about in this video, even the version three of the Impal, they will be linked in the description of this video. And before I get out of here, I want to let you know that both of these lens kits were sent to me for review. Well, that about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel and some of the past works that I've done. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel and you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.